Hey guys, welcome back to Bro and Sis Math Club. Today's topic is interest and loss. So today we'll be discussing what exactly interest and loss is in real life as well as mathematics and how we can solve word problems with both of these ideas, okay, all both of these lessons or concepts, okay? So first we'll start off with interest, okay? So here we have a word problem that says, Rebecca took a student loan of $18,000. Her interest rate per year was 6%. How much interest did she pay after one year? Okay, now here, according to our rules and steps, rule, step number one is interest and loss can both be represented as percentages. That means we can represent this um, word problem as a percentage. So now, here we all, it already says that she took a student loan of $18,000, okay? So we know that. Now, her interest rate per year was 6%. Now, we learned in our previous video that a percent is part of 100. So 6% can be written as a fraction as it could be written be it could be written as six percent or six out of one hundred, okay? And it says that she took a student loan of eighteen thousand dollars. That means six out of hundred times eighteen thousand, okay? So now here, step number two says when you have interest rates, you're going to pay additional money, mo sorry, money along with the actual money, which is your principal. So the actual money here that we are paying is $18,000. The interest is how much money since you took a loan, you have to pay an interest rate per year, right? So that is how much additional money you will be paying because you took that loan. So your principal is 18000 but now here we're calculating the interest or the additional money that um, Rebecca will have to pay as part of her student loan so what we'll do is multiply 6 over 100 times 18,000 so now if you multiply remember whenever you have zeros you can go ahead and multiply the numbers so 6 times 18 and we can go ahead back and add these zeros in so if we multiply 18 times 6 we know that 8 times 6 is 48 8 carry the 4 6 times 1 is 6 plus the 4 is 10 so now if we write so we had this right so we had done 6 times 18,000 over 100, and we got 108, and now we've taken out the three zeros so we can go ahead and add them back. So it's really $108,000. Now we're going to divide this by 100, so we know that the zeros will cancel each other out. So there's two zeros up here in the numerator and two in the denominator. So we're still left with 1,080 over 1. Now remember, any number divided by 1 is that number. So 1,080 divided by 1 is really 1,080. And this is our money. So that means it's really $1,080. And this is our interest rate. That means that Rebecca had to pay an additional $1,080 as part of her student loan after one year. So how much was her total? Well, we can find that by adding. So 18000 plus 1080 will give us 0, 8, 0, and then 9, 1. So that means at the end of the year, Rebecca is really paying $19,080 because she took that loan of $18,000 and her interest rate was 6%, okay? So this is how we can calculate interest, okay? Now let's go ahead and move into a problem with loss, okay? So here we have our word problem that says, Company A made sales of $100,000 in 2013, over the course of one year, they had a loss of 3%. How much money did company A lose? So now we know that oftentimes in real life, um, there can be crashes in the stock market, okay? And companies can lose their money. But now here, company A, this is the amount of sales they made. They made $100,000 worth of sales in this year, 2013, okay? So now over this one course year, they have lost 3%. So what we're calculating is we want to find out how much money they have lost in their sales, okay? So now our steps are pretty much the same. So if we go back here, it says interest and loss can both be represented as percentages, okay? So now we know that they have lost 3%. So 3%, and remember we can write this in fraction form, so 3 over 100 because a percent is part of 100, okay? Now, we're going to be multiplying this, once again, by 100,000, which is the amount of sales that they made, okay? 
So now, if we multiply, what we're doing is really 3 times 100,000 divided by 100. So we know that 3 times 100,000 is 300,000 divided by 100. And now, if we cancel the two zeros out from both of the numerator and the denominator, we're left with 3,000 over 1. And remember, anything divided by 1 is that number. So we're left with $3,000. But now if we go back up, number 3 was when you have lost, you're losing money. And that means there's no gain. So this money that we got here, 3000 is really the money, right? So it's $3,000. That is our loss. That means the company A lost $3,000 over the course of one year. So if their total sales were actually $100,000. So write this here and they lost $3,000, what we're doing is really subtracting that amount of money. Okay, so now if we go ahead and subtract, bring down the zeros, okay? So we're gonna have to borrow one, that becomes a zero, that'll become a nine, seven, nine. That means that company A, next year, they only made sales of $97,000 because they lost the 3%, sorry, let me get that back. Okay, so they lost 3% over that course of one year. So that means next year they're only making sales of $97,000, okay? So that's all I have for this topic, okay? Now the purpose of this topic, yes, we use interest and loss in math, but we also use this in our real lives. So when we are taking loans for college, we'll be using interest, so that's very important to know. And also, if you guys are interested in entrepreneurship, that means if you wanna start your own business, then loss is also one thing that you need to keep in mind, that your companies, if the stocks crash, or like the amount of sales that you make, you can have a loss, okay? So um, I hope you guys understood this video, and um, stick around for more further coming up videos and we will see you guys next time. Bye!